Hello and good morning to everyone. This is Joanna and I was just wanting to share with you this juice here that I'm about to try. I haven't had this before but I have been seeing it whenever I buy that tea that I like to drink so I thought I'd give it a try here this morning. And I want to try this. I'll probably try these later on. I don't know what I thought they were. I thought they were regular Mentos but from the looks of it I don't think they are. And then I also wanted to add I finished up this toothpaste right here and my toothpaste generally changes. Um, I buy several at a time. So I haven't had to buy toothpaste in the last couple of years, quite frankly. Things like toothpaste, soap, you guys know regular body wash in addition to Bath and Body Works body wash. I have a lot of that stuff. The only thing I have to buy on a regular basis here lately is the Aloe Charmin that I like and light bulbs. But I want to try something different. This isn't bad, but I don't really think most of these do what they say they're going to do. And the first one of these I ever got tasted like pure poison. I mentioned that a long time ago. But the one I want to try this time is this crest right here. And I also have that crest in the blue box, whatever that white one is. And then I have a Colgate one. Now, I don't go for these toothpaste right here on the regular. But for a while there, you guys know that was all they seemed to release was... 3D white, white toothpaste. Every brand had a white toothpaste. My favorite brand over the years has been the regular Ultra Bright in the blue box and close up when it was green because now I think they only have the red one and that one was a hot one. It was like cinnamon toothpaste. But I do have a lot of toothpaste. So I'm going to give this one a try and see. Whenever I can find it, I don't mind the kind that are in the tubes. I don't even know if they still make the kind in the tubes, but they have that kind that was raised kind of like those hair products when the little thing raises up and you get it all out of there so I might try those later and then I also wanted to say I have these acrylic paints that I've had for a while and I got these to learn how to make flowers with them and I ain't done anything because most of these still have the seals on them I do know that turquoise one in particular I bought with two other colors to do something like watercolor. So if I end up not using these at all I may take them to work but the whole reason I got these was to learn how to do flowers I even got the brushes that go with them. And as you can see, I got my manicure cleaned up there. But I really still have the dry cuticles. I haven't been doing much. I've been using my oil and all of that, but I haven't been doing the other care. So I'm probably going to get some stuff together for that. And I got this package for my Instagram nail stamping winner that I'm also going to be taking out to mail. So that was about it. I might come back and talk about some of these. I've been wanting to get my nails a little bit lengthier so that I can come on and do some of these because I've had these for a while. But that was it. I just wanted to share that little bit of nothing with everybody. But we're going to try this juice out. In fact, I'm going to do that now while I don't have anything else that I've been eating or drinking. Because I'm actually planning on making some coffee. And I'm trying to pour this and look at what I'm doing. So hopefully I'm not making a mess here. So we're going to taste this. Okay, well, it says no artificial sweeteners, but it definitely tastes like it has something in it. I don't know. Let me see if it's diet or anything like that. I'm going to get out here so you guys can see this. Because I didn't read it first. I just got it really based off of looks. But I'm trying to see if it's got any other kind of sweetener in it. And wouldn't you know, usually I'm under my table where there's light. Today is kind of dark because it almost tastes like a diet product. But what is in it here, and I'm making a mess here, is apple and pear it looks like. Let me put this down for a minute because I'm making a huge mess. You can see my table is a catch-all again. We're going to clean that up today. So it basically doesn't have much in it but a few carbohydrates, 90 calories per serving. It doesn't taste bad. I would definitely mix this in something. If I were going to make a fruit smoothie or something where I was just trying to thin a shake down, I would put this in there. I like it for that. And it's pretty good. I probably won't go out and buy any more, but we'll see because I said the same thing about that white tea that I had been showing forever. I didn't like it at first either. But I think this would make a great base to a summer drink or just any kind of a smoothie drink you're trying to thin down. Or if you mix your juices, um, if you blend your vegetables and fruits and things like that, this would be a nice thing to add in there. So if you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. But I do like it on the first sip, so we'll give it a chance. Until the next time, everyone have a great day. I'm going to clean up this mess I just made.